Joining us also new at 11 tonight, TriMet buses are caught on video rapidly crossing multiple lanes, even though TriMet says it's trying to eliminate those moves. Take a look at video captured today on Southeast Portland's Foster Road near I-205. Happened over and over again this afternoon. K2's Bob High is live at a TriMet stop in Northeast Portland. And Bob, the, the guy who shot that video has a reason for making sure TriMet buses aren't making illegal moves through traffic, right? Yes, Steve. He and his sister and her friend were both killed by a TriMet bus after it made the same kind of moves last April. The kind of move, as you said, TriMet has tried to eliminate from its bus routes. It's a move you may have seen buses make time and time again. Three lanes. Crossing three lanes, no big deal. Yeah, against policy, it's still happening. It's important to Ryan Hamill because the cross multiple lanes move is the same kind bus driver Sandy Day did last April before her bus killed his sister Janae, her friend Danielle Sale, and injured Ryan and two others. You know, I wasn't standing on that corner thinking that a bus three lanes over from me was going to be turning into the crosswalk that I'm walking in. So when Ryan saw a bus make the same move here on Foster near I-205. In this shot here, I have uh, the buses just leaving the, uh, the bus stop. Ryan pulled out his cell phone and started taking videos. Cuts directly into the middle lane and then proceeds over into the far lane. Ryan says 10 buses crossed multiple lanes illegally in this one block in less than two hours. I shouldn't be thinking, oh, okay, these guys are clear, but hey, let's watch out for that bus. It's three lanes over at a bus stop. This is TriMet headquarters where they say they finished a review citywide of bus lines trying to eliminate dangerous moves by bus drivers. We asked them to have someone take a look at this video and evaluate it. They told us there was nobody available to do that this evening. Ryan Hamill believes the video speaks for itself. Now, supposedly they eliminated that from their from their program, which obviously is not the case. It's just a right that we as citizens should have, you know, walking in the streets to not, you know, have to worry about whether a bus is going to be making an illegal move. TriMet did make a number of changes following its review of its system on Terwilliger Boulevard, on Swan Island, as well as as buses cross the Hawthorne Bridge. Live in Northeast Portland, Bob High, K2 News. But that's indication that that move is still taking place. Bob, thank you.